it says here that two quantities P and Q are directly proportional to each other. So if they are directly proportional to each other, this means that you should get a straight line because you see uh, experimental results are taken of a graph of Q against P. Okay, okay. So we plot out a graph of Q against P. Now, if you think about Q and P, if P and Q proportional, you should get a straight line passing through the origin. Okay? Which graph shows random errors in the measurement of P and Q? So if there is random error, right, it means that the plots are either above and below the point. So this graph, this black color graph, or this one is true value, the true graph that we want to see. Okay, so B, B is this. If there's random error, it means that sometimes you get reading above the true graph line. Sometimes you get reading below the true graph line. So in this case, the answer is C. But you wait first. I, I explain a few things. This one is anomalous reading. Anomalous means u tuan tuan for no reason. Out oh, of sudden, you got this point here. One hello, excuse. Are you lost? Go home. Point. Are you lost? So this anomalous point normally is due to human error. Is it random? Yeah, it's fairly random, but it's not everything random. So this is anomalous point. We normally will classify as random error, can, but this is just human error, lah. Okay. B is just a curve, so I also don't know what is going on in B. I'm just going to put question mark. Whereas D, you look at this, oh, very interesting. If I move this line, you see, uh, this is the line that I get from the graph in D. If I move this line downward, it is directly proportional. So the line is supposed to be here. This is the true value. But this is your experimental value. This means what? Your experiment value is always bigger than your true value. Your Q is always bigger than the true value. So this one, part D, is a type of systematic error. Okay, so I repeat. Uh, A is anomalous point. Is it random? Yes, but only random for this point. The other points are okay. B, I don't know what happened. Maybe check equation. Uh, maybe plot wrong graph. Liao. Maybe got calculation problem. I don't know. Maybe supposed to square something but didn't square. Okay. Check equation, calculation, table. So I guess this is also human error. Okay. Whereas for C, this is a type of random error. Random. Sometimes you get reading above, sometimes you get reading below. Okay. Whereas D is a systematic error because your experimental value is always above. Okay. All right. Let's look at another question.